Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my baby sort of area tour slash caddy tour. Um, he does have his own room, as you can see. We're sitting in it now. However, for the first couple months, he is going to be sleeping in his bassinet in our room. And so I really wanted to set up a little station for him in our room so that we're not coming back and forward in the middle of the night to get things like nappies or wipes or medicine. Um, I wanted to make sure that I had everything that I would need for the first couple months in our room so it's nice and easy to access during the night during feedings and so that we're not rumbling around in the middle of the night trying to find things that we need for him so it's only gonna be a very short video I'm just gonna go through the things that I have set up for his arrival in our bedroom if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful day and let's jump into it okay so this is his caddy in our room it is in the corner of the room on my side of the bed because I believe that's you know that's where his bassinet's gonna go this is where he's gonna sleep so this is his little caddy I'm just gonna show you guys a bit of a panning view of our little caddy this is my bedside table that it's next to and this is our little emergency caddy so let's jump into what's actually on it Firstly, onto the top shelf, which is our little changing station. This is going to be where all of the things necessary for changing are, and so this is his little changing station. At the back, we have baby powder, which is just Johnson's baby powder. We got this for our baby shower. We also got Johnson's baby lotion. We also got some Curash baby nappy rash cream. This one is super popular over here. And in case that one is not thick enough, we also have pseudo cream, which is a super thick sort of similar sort of nappy rash cream. And I also have my morning sickness tablets just in here at the moment as well. In this front bucket, we have all his sort of medical needs. So I have little noses, saline drops. It's got the little aspirator. It's got little saline drops in it. And this is for if he gets a little stuffy nose. I also have baby Panadol which is good for once he reaches one month old. I've got wind drops, which is good if he's got wind in his tummy that he just can't release. This is supposed to be really good if they're getting really fussy. I also have gripe water. This was just the gripe water that they had at the chemist. I don't think it really matters of the brand. Um, no artificial sweeteners or anything like that, but this is supposed to help if they're very windy or they have a very sore tummy. I've also got a rectal thermometer, underarm thermometer, and in-mouth thermometer, and a forehead thermometer. So if he's sleeping and I don't want to disturb him, I'll use this one. If I'm really concerned, I'll probably end up using this one. This one came part of our first aid kit that we got from our baby shower. Up the back here, we just have a little stash of nappies. These are just newborn nappies by the Mamiya brand. Um, this is just a stash here, and I have more down the bottom, which I will show you guys. Over to the side, I have bin liners, and I've got little sanitary bags to wrap the nappies up to help with the smell. And finally, a little wipes holder, which is full of wipes at the back. So this is our little changing station and emergency medication station. Moving down to the second shelf, this just has some onesies in it. Once I know what size he's going to be when he's actually here, I will probably fill this up a little bit more. But I have some long sleeve sleeper onesies and also just some short sleeve baby onesies. Just because, you know, it's going to be summer so I don't know what he'll want if he's a warm sleeper. And yeah, I wanted to make sure that I have everything that I need for him during the night in case we have a blowout or a spit up. Speaking of blowouts and spit ups, this is that shelf. So we have a bunch of burp cloths, some muslin wraps, and some swaddle blankets. Obviously, I'm not sure if he's going to be a swaddler or a sleeping bag baby, but I wanted to keep these here just for feeding, for covering the breast pillow, and also for any spit ups. And finally, this tub down the bottom is just full of nappies. We got so many newborn nappies for our baby shower, and so I just filled all the open ones from our nappy cake into this little bucket at the bottom. And that's it. That is what is in our baby caddy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you think there's anything urgent that I definitely need on hand, easy to reach in our room. Um, and so I can add that to my little caddy before he actually makes his arrival. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.